Welcome to the United Fibers Recycling Plant. Come on, let me go introduce you to Murph. Imagine if you could take a pile of that stuff and turn it into valuable commodities that could be reused in the community and even make a brand new product right here in this facility. That's what the MRF Materials Recovery Facility does. Our single stream recycling system, which means all recyclables in one container, can process enough recyclable material that could literally fill Sun Devil Stadium six times every year. Wow. It all starts here with a visual inspection, looking for extreme contaminants that can harm employees or the equipment, such as car parts, steel components, or chemicals. The Murph relies on a team of full-time sorters and can process up to 25 tons an hour. We load the hopper with some residential recyclables. At the primary sorting platform, oversized cardboard materials are thrown off the line, so it doesn't block up the work. But don't worry, we collect them and sell them for reuse. Plastic bags and other non-recyclable materials are collected here also and discarded. At the primary fiber screen, hundreds of special discs rotate at very high speeds to remove the large fiber components like newspaper and cardboard, and reroute other items like bottles and cans. The remaining recyclables continue going through a second sorting machine that also utilizes high-speed discs, but this time they are spaced and operated differently. So all remaining paper material, like junk mail and papers from schools and offices, is removed. With the main fibers processed out, we can now recover glass materials, which are removed for further processing at our on-site glass facility. All steel containers are removed automatically by a massive cross-belt magnet. Then all the plastics are sorted by type and grade. With all the paper, recyclable plastic, and glass removed, what's left? Only aluminum and non-acceptable plastic materials. These are processed through a machine called an eddy current separator, which sorts the aluminum containers out. Once sorted, each type of stuff goes through a machine that compresses the recyclable commodities into tightly packed bales or bricks. But the paper stays here. That's because some of our most important reusing of recycled material happens right here at the United Fiber plant in Chandler. This is the general manager of United Fibers, Mike. Hi Mike, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. I'm excited to be here. Okay. So what comes in as used magazines and junk mail comes out as insulation for new construction? That's exactly right. Once all the paper comes over from the recycling facility, it enters the manufacturing process. The material flows through a series of machines called mills. What these machines do is size the paper into a state where it can be weighed and metered so fire retardant chemicals can be added properly. Okay. What makes insulation fire retardant? The fire retardancy of the insulation is a very high-tech process. We continually measure the amount of paper running through the facility and add the appropriate mixture of fire retardant chemicals to make the material fireproof. It's pretty amazing that this insulation will allow this penny to melt in my hand without me feeling heat. It's amazing that from start to finish, paper travels nearly the length of a whole football field to be made into cellulose. But the journey's not over yet. This insulation will be utilized in homes throughout the western United States. Pretty amazing what you can do with the paper you put in the recycling bin. 